Will Fang and Big Tech ever recover back again? In this video, we're gonna go over why I think that Big Tech probably isn't gonna have the same trajectory that it had in the past 10 to 20 years. But it's a hard question to answer because basically in the past three or four years, we had an unprecedented number of new people entering the tech industry. So let's see actually what happened. In my last video, I went over this graph that basically showed how FANG jobs have gone down by almost 10x. They used to comprise around 5 to 6% of all of the tech jobs out there, and now it's gone down to almost under 0.5% according to the data from January. So it used to be that one out of every 20 jobs was going to be at a big tech company, and now that's actually one out of every 200. And this makes a lot of sense because different FANG companies have done a ton of layoffs in the past year. If we look at the most popular companies, Facebook, Alphabet, which is Google, and Microsoft, then we could see that basically they almost doubled their headcount over the past five years. Facebook went from 36,000 employees to 86,000 employees in just four years before finally laying off around 12,000 employees. And the reason why Apple hasn't actually done layoffs is because of the fact that they only grew by 24% over the past five years in their headcount. So they've been growing slowly and only hiring as necessary. If we're expecting these FANG and big tech companies to recover, it actually depends on what your definition of recover means. What I mean by that is since these companies grew so fast in the past year and added thousands, hundreds of thousands of jobs, to see that happen again in double headcount would be kind of insane. But that's kind of what we're expecting in terms of growth rates from these companies. And that's why the employees are making so much money in terms of TC. If you were on blind, you could see that everyone was comparing different total compensation numbers because as these companies grew, they needed more and more senior people and more and more managers and created more of a demand and for talent that just didn't exist, which is why we raised the salary so much to be able to attract that talent. At the same time, what we also saw was a huge rise in the number of companies that were trying to create the supply for that talent. Companies like mine, Interview Query, were there to actually help data scientists get these jobs and get their dream jobs in big tech companies. Also companies like Career Karma, different kinds of boot camps, and different kinds of ed tech companies, as well as master's programs were all taking in as many students as they could so that they could fulfill the huge demand for these fan companies. And similarly enough, all of these kinds of programs are probably either losing students or doing layoffs in respect to companies like Career Karma. Now, as companies are clamping down and with the latest shift to the recession, we're not going to see this new entrant migration anymore. Basically, in the past few years, we had thousands of new people that broke into tech. And what's happening is that the new entrants that were prepared to do that in the past four years, maybe they're students in university, maybe they're in a master's program, maybe they were just getting some experience so they could break into big tech. That's not going to happen anymore. So it's a little bit unfair for anyone who's trying to break into tech now. But if you do get in, as a new person in big tech, you'd probably be much more qualified than all of the previous people that entered into big tech over the past four years, because now the competition is that much harder. So to summarize, basically there was this huge wave of services, companies and new people that are breaking into tech and now we're all kind of just holding on to our jobs. So when's the next kind of big opportunity to jump into tech again? It seems like these companies are kind of plateauing. If you look at Facebook, they're spending all their resources basically on maintaining their ads business and then trying to get the VR business up and running because they think this is the new platform of the future. If you look at Google, they're desperately trying to fight off chat GPT and AI because that's a core problem for their business. The best time to jump into tech again will be the next wave of companies that capture the value from the next technology change. So if you ask me, that's probably going to be AI and generative AI. But that's a little bit difficult right now because it seems like all of that value is going to open AI instead in their creation of ChatGPT and licensing that out for other people to use. And the reason why I say this is because if you look at history in the last 20 years, big tech basically came into existence but riding the wave of mobile, when we all got mobile phones, uh, basically adopted by Apple, Facebook, Google, etc. And then also with cloud, primarily with AWS and Google Cloud and every single internet business basically hosting their business on the cloud on these providers. And so these two big seismic changes, along with social media and network effects, kind of created big tech as it is. So the next time this is going to happen again will likely be with the next shift 
that's either going to be AI. If you're working at Facebook, you're going to think it's VR or maybe it's something else entirely. So to summarize, I think FANG and big tech is kind of in a weird spot right now. Traditional companies are actually doing okay because they have regular growth rates year over year that it's very linear. While if you look at big tech and these other companies, they really grew fast on the promise of all these different kinds of technologies that haven't actually been set in stone yet. And so we'll see when this next wave comes. If you're looking to break into big tech, know that it's going to be harder over the next few years, but understand that the next wave of tech companies might be coming soon with generative AI, and we just have to sit back and watch to see if it's actually gonna take hold. Let me know what you think in the comments. Am I right on this? Am I completely off base? Would love to know what you think, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.